Briggs, do you know? <laughs> I'm Demosthenes, ever sassy space cowboy, wearing her fancy Cassia Fullerton. Hello, Bragg. <laughs> you can call her Master Valerie Peters. That's right. Boom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, thanks for joining us here on Drinks with Emo. Uh, we usually do wines and beers, uh, but today we're going to do something softer. Mm -hmm. yet, Hopefully. Yet bolder. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, so let's get right into it. Everyone's familiar with Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Mm -hmm. Gold standard of ginger ale is the most popular ginger ale around. Unless you like a Schweppes. Um, That's fine too. Unless you got a, a Coke product uh, thing, mm -hmm. then it's going to be Seagram's. Oh yeah. Uh, so Canada Dry has come out with a new thing that I wanted to get. I've tried some of their other flavors though too, which are actually not bad. It's Canada Dry Ginger Ale Bold. <gasps> Um, before we get into the bold, we're going to tell you a, a tale. <laughs> There's a tale. Tell There's always a, a story with us. Um, we were at... Wait for it. I'm sure I found this, like a song, too. Who knows? Uh, downtown, uh, or Main Street Garden Grove, down here in Orange County. That's where we used to live. Uh, it was Zlatix or Zlatix Deli. Uh. Started with a Z. Zlatix? No. I don't know if it's still there. Now you've said it wrong. Okay, go I, ahead. I, I, I absolutely said it wrong. I, <laughs> This was 10 years ago. Zlackets. Zlackets, yes. There we go. Um, and they had novelty beverages, so mm -hmm. they had a, uh, was it a ginger beer or a ginger ale? I thought it was a ginger ale. Okay, so it was a ginger <laughs> ale. Because I love a ginger ale. Love a ginger ale. Can't get enough of that, you know, stuff. Mm -hmm. If you're going to step up the ginger flavor, totally about it. Like, I'm that person that's like, yay, at the sushi place with the candy, you know, the yep. pickled ginger. Yep. All about it. So I tried it. No, Val, you got it, right? Yeah, because I was like, yay, like a spunkier, you know. Uh, it was uh, <laughs> pure acid, just it was, burned everything. It was traumatizing. It was catastrophic. <laughs> now, now, ginger naturally is a very strong, mm -hmm. uh, flavorful item in general. People um, forget how spicy it is. Yes. Ginger is very spicy. It's good for your tummy if you have motion sickness, if you're out at sea or... Just have nausea in general. Ginger ale is great for that, yeah. but it is very spicy. Yeah. Um, this, it was a straight hydrochloric acid. It, was... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Imagine like the worst heartburn you've ever had. That's what that was. But flavored like ginger. But Yeah. Like there was just nowhere to get away from the... The burn, the right. flavor, no, it was... the whatever. I was like, that was not what I wanted. I may have been pregnant at the time. Lesson learned. Yeah, no. Ooh, sweet Jesus. So, <laughs> when we see the ginger ale bold, you know, <laughs> trauma starts flashbacks. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. It's... GTS cheat? No, no. <laughs> Post traumatic ginger disorder. Is that what it is? Yeah. All right, let's... Is that when you could beat up by a ginger guy? I don't even know. Don't know. <laughs> there you go. Standard ginger ale color and flavor. I don't know flavor, but standard ginger ale color. Yeah. Uh, glass or can? I'll glass that. That's okay. Fine. All right. Ginger ale bold. Ooh. Ooh it tingles the nose. Kind of mm. shot right up there. All right. Take taste. <laughs> You're waiting, huh? No. I was just enjoying the bouquet. Hmm. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. Not bold at all. It's actually quite smooth. Yeah. It feels... It has a different flavor, though, than a ginger. Oh. It's a, there's a little bit of a... Right in the back. It feels like there's more syrup. Yeah. Like it's more of a natural ginger flavor as opposed to like a ginger hinted soda. Let me look at these ingredients, see if there's any difference. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, and less than 2% of ginger extract, natural flavors, citric acid, sodium benzoate, caramel color. The exact same ingredients. Well, it's less than 2%. Maybe that one's like 1.2 and this one's like 1.8. So. <laughs> Although I can. I can feel it right here. Can you feel it? No. No? no. I can feel it right here. There's a little bit of. Uh, uh. I don't know. I. I... <laughs> That's the only difference. Well, it's a slightly, like I said, slightly different flavor. It's smoother on the mouth. Like there's a smoother mouthfeel. 
Let's go use that word. <laughs> so, Hold there's on. a smoother mouthfeel, whereas like a regular Canada Dry, it like cuts through the gunk in your mouth, you know? Like if you've got like that weird morning well, slime. Here it is. Mouth. Regular Canada Dry. There's the, the difference. Notice bigger bubbles. Huh. All right, so here's the regular Canada Dry. <laughs> smells different. The regular Canada Dry seems more effervescent. Definitely more bubbly. Yeah, this one has much smaller bubbles and a more of a ginger flavor. This one is like hint of ginger soda. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh. This is this is weird because I was expecting. Bold. bold, all caps. Bold. Okay. Bold. Let's 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 do this though. This is harsher mouthfeel because of the bigger bubbles. Like this is sort of like when you first crack open a Coke and you chug it down, and you're like, oh, it burns so good. Yep. This is a, a much smoother mouthfeel. The bold, but it does have more ginger flavor. Okay, so let, let's let's review. Let's let's put some, let's put some ratings on this on a scale of one to five. We're rating it already. We're already there. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> okay. On a scale. Of Don't one, mind the blood things blowing up in the background. <laughs> on a scale of one to five, how would you rate ginger ale, the Canada Dry Bold Ginger Ale? I'm um, giving it a three because it is giving me that weird burn in my chest. Okay. Yeah, not my favorite feeling. I'm going to. I'm also going to. Oh, man, I want to give it a two. I'm thinking three. Here, here's Out of where, five, I'm going three because it doesn't taste bad. It tastes good. It's nice and smooth. I do fact, like the fact that it's smaller bubbles, mm -hmm. so it's it won't give you a lot of like gas. But I feel that the ginger flavor is more syrupy. Like they added instead of just one pump for the regular, they gave mm -hmm. two pumps of the ginger syrup, and it, it just kind of almost is like a um, aftertaste of syrup. I don't know that I'm getting the aftertaste of syrup. It, it does. It it does have a slightly different ginger flavor. See, I drank the regular ginger ale and I'm all burpy. <laughs> it does have a different ginger flavor. It does, and I don't mind the flavor. I just it, I wish it didn't taste so syrupy. Mm. You know what? I'll give it a three. I'm gonna give it a three out of five as well. Um, like, mm -mm. if I had to choose between the two, I'm gonna get the regular. Yeah. Uh, just because I know it, I'm used to it, it's good. This, if it's the only thing they have, fine, I will drink it. But it definitely has... Want to go two and a half stars, then? Are we getting a half stars? Or two and a half, whatever. Pull tapped. <laughs> no, we'll stick with three, because it's not, it's not bad. No, it isn't bad. But to, to, once you get into the twos and ones, and then that's it's an undrinkable beverage. <laughs> this is totally fine. No two is drinkable under duress. One is like... Please, Jesus, don't make me ever drink that again. <laughs> I've had those. It's not. So, yeah. It's only a three. Yeah. Um, it's not as bold as I thought it would be. It's a different formula, let's be honest. It's a different formula. Smaller bubbles. I don't want regular. More syrup. Yeah. You got a stomach ache with a regular ginger ale. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but we're going to mix it up just a little bit, even though we've done the reviews. Oh. And we're going to add, <laughs> we're going to make it what everyone's hot nowadays, a little cap and ginger. So, oh, we're not gonna go for the crotchies today. <laughs> no, no, no crotchies today. Sorry, mom. So, <laughs> this is Captain Morgan, traditional spice rum. However, if you have the opportunity, trust the old pirate here, get the 100 proof. Bought it accidentally, been loving it ever since. Standard Captain Morgan's is 70 proof. This is 100, a far superior rum. Yeah. Despite being more alcohol by volume, this is 50% alcohol by volume. It wasn't that much more expensive at Walmart either. It's actually <laughs> smoother and has mm -hmm. less, so much less burn going yeah, down than the 70. It does. It's really nice. So It's very pleasant. We're going to go ahead and mix up uh, Especially with Coke. <laughs> cap and ginger and mm -hmm. uh, just finish it off right with a little booze in our day. Uh, do you want it on the bold or do you want it on the regular? Or do you uh, want it in both? Oh, let's try it in both. Let's, let's try, it try it in both. both. All right, which one's which? Um, hold on. I'm going to go with that's the regular. That's it's, very, a li it's a lighter color. It's very scientific. <laughs> Quick shout out to Brie and her sister who actually picked up a bottle of sangria today. Ah! <laughs> I was like, I feel like 
Like Costco should probably start paying us at this point. Yeah, let's not get greedy. <laughs> well, that's pleasant. I don't like it. Really? Ugh. Try the bold. Okay. <laughs> It did not sit well in the back of my tongue. That was gross. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. that gross? No, that's... That's, that's like a one. <laughs> that was disgusting. I don't really care for it. Try that. Okay. <laughs> Still kind of weird on the back of my... Better. Like, if that was a one and a half, I'd give this a two. <laughs> not really excited about it. Huh. I don't know what it is, like... On the back of my tongue, it is not a pleasant flavor. Like, the sides of my tongue, totally fine. The front of my tongue, fine. The back of my tongue's going, ah! The cap has definitely accentuated the ginger, I feel. Because I'm getting more ginger flavor than I did before. Are you? Yeah. I don't know what that flavor is. It's almost like bitter. I'm getting a bitter flavor on the back of my tongue. Here, go back to the bold. No, this is the bold. Oh, yeah. Bring more of that. Yeah. <laughs> this is less bitter, but that, it's still bitter. I'm still getting bitter. That's weird. Yeah. That's so weird. All right, so I guess the verdict would be if you're just drinking Drake's ginger ale. Mm -hmm. Drink state Canada Dry. Classic. <laughs> if you want to mix it with some Captain Morgan, go yeah. bold. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if I want to drink more of this. <laughs> it smells great. Yeah, because all the kids are drinking that now. All the kids are all, all about the, the cap and ginger. And um, So, like I said, when it first hits my tongue, it's very pleasant. And you're like, okay, this is going to be good. And then it hits the back of my tongue and it's like, ah. Hmm. I'm like, what? Like, I'm a traditionalist. I, I like, <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't like it. I like uh, cap and coke. Yeah, cap and coke is where it's at. Strong flavor. Especially with this, it kind of comes out like a really nice vanilla coke situation. Oh, yeah. Ah, Delicious. so good. Um, but with ginger, mm. just not, hmm, not feeling it. You gotta gargle that? <laughs> Here, go ahead and spit that up. You good? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was not my jam. Good to know. <laughs> Next time we won't do extra credit. <laughs> well, no, it's good to know. Now, you know, when I hang out with my hipster friends. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really? When we've moved past the Moscow Mule and we're now headed into Ginger <laughs> Talk about an overrated beverage. Oh, they're okay. Overrated. <laughs> well, you know what my favorite is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was he sour? Yeah. <laughs> Old man drink. <laughs> I gotta tell people, I got it accidentally because I was like, I can't remember what I asked for. I feel like I asked for like a sex on the beach or something. It was really loud in there. I don't even know. So I end up with this drink and I'm like, what the hell is this? This is not what I asked for. And I was like, oh, way. I was like, oh damn, this is delicious. Okay. Whiskey sour it is. I don't know if I have a favorite drink. For a while there, I was big on white Russians uh, during my Lebowski phase. But then I changed it up. Instead of vodka, no joke, Cat Morgan's 100, yeah. uh, different flavor profile and was much nicer. The vanilla notes of the rum paired well with the Kahlua and, of course, the, the half and half. So it was... Oh, that's sitting real warm right here. That was delicious. So <laughs> maybe we'll revisit that in a future episode, but... Um, let's wrap it up. Uh, three out of five for both of us on the Canada Dry Bold Ginger Ale. Yeah. Not that bold. Mm -hmm. Should have been a lowercase bold. Yeah. Maybe if it was that same flavor, but with fizzier, it would feel bolder. Maybe. Maybe. But we're all burpy now. <laughs> That's why we don't do soft drinks. Yeah. <laughs> why we stick to the spirits and beer. Beer with tiny bubbles. <laughs> so there you go. All right, if you like what you saw, by all means, uh, <laughs> leave me a note. Like and subscribe below if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Instagram. Uh, give us a little heart there. Uh, add any comments you'd like to see. Uh, if you have any suggestions going forward for future episodes of Drinks with Emo, by all means, let me know. Mm -hmm. um, and also, if you like what you see, and you like and subscribe on the YouTube, <laughs> feel free to share this with your friends yes, on Facebook. Yes, please. Um, let them know, let them know little that little. you know some crazy people that just drink for no reason. <laughs> But we're not alcoholics. If you are, go get help. Ooh. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to bring it down. Wow. Drink responsibly. That's kind of serious all of a sudden. <laughs> Drink responsibly. <laughs> I guess I should start putting that on. <laughs> Notice we start saying drink responsibly on the ginger ale episode. Because <laughs> we're drinking responsibly. <laughs> we're at home. We're not going anywhere. Moderation is the key. Mm -hmm. uh, until next time, then I guess everyone, thanks for joining us here on Drinks with Demo. Uh, I'm Demosthenes. Space Cowboy. Stay safe. Good night.